After the army wasn't the first time that I was homeless. I was homeless before, and my family wasn't really all that supportive. My mother, she, you know, she put us up for foster care. I was in a boys' home for three and a half years after that. Then I ran away from there and went with my father and, until he walked out. And they were renovating the building, and they took off the roof, and so it got flooded. So I lived in there for a while, and it was leaking, and there was rodents and roaches and rats. I, I stayed on the couch and I lived there and um, and I almost didn't graduate high school. Something happened one day and I decided, you know what, the military, my there's food, three square meals, I really don't have to worry too much about bills, there's shelter, there's clothing. I spent uh, 12 months in Af Afghanistan uh, on Bagram the vehicle that I was in, the cargo Humvee, was riding over a riverbed and had really big rocks. And the truck went up in the air, it hit a big rock, and it went up in the air and it bent the rim of the Humvee, which is really heavy duty metal, and it came back down. And I hit my neck, the back part of my neck on the gun turret, and the machine gun, it's like this, and I almost went over the side of the, uh, the, side of the Humvee. I really didn't think much of it when it first happened. I mean, it hurt, but I didn't really think much of it. But once I got back to Bagram afterwards, the loud noise started bothering me and I couldn't start talk straight. And I was getting really bad headaches. When I was being medical discharged, my family basically wasn't all that accepting as I thought they would be when I came back. At first they were, all right, I, well, you could stay here, or you know, but I was having some post-traumatic stress issues, and I guess that they couldn't deal with that. Through the VA, I've been set up with various programs to help me in my transition, and it, it takes a while. It's not easy, especially when you're learning to be independent and you're dealing with medical conditions or mental health issues. going outside. Yes, we are. He helps me get through the day. 